what up guys got an update on the commons it is actually it's going very well everything's coming apart very smooth as you can see we already made pretty good progress took the whole front clip off and then take apart the bottom now jeff is still at work i'm gonna start working on it right now I'm going to start by taking the drive shaft off. And then I think we're going to do the transfer case. And then the tranny. Try to make it as light as possible. I mean, all this shit is very heavy. So, yeah, we got the fenders off, the whole front clip, the radiators, as you can see. Big, big change. That big bumper there. Things heavy. I'm excited. If anyone knows, I can't find it. Maybe be able to find it once it's out, but the numbers on the block, 53 or 55, I don't know what this is, to be honest with you. I'll let you know if I find out. This is Tuesday. Today is when I'm filming. And the video will be up Friday. So hopefully by Friday, I'll figure out what this is and let you guys know. Here we go. Go. Take the drive shaft up. There it is. It's out. Through that and down there. Beautiful. It's pretty smooth. Can't complain. Shouldn't be any train Jesus. Got it out. Didn't leak. And I don't know if I could get those transfer case bolts. That sucks. Because, here I'll show you. Because this is a bolt right here for the transfer case. There is no way you get anything on this. It's completely covered. That really sucks. I want to take this off. But it is what it is. There's a power steering leak. I think whoever owned it before just kept uh, adding it. It's completely covered under here with oil but. oh yeah and another thing this is a junkyard truck but i got the privileges of taking it to my house and uh so like if it needs pull parts pulled off of it they gotta go <laughs> like the spindle is gone now so the motor's mine but i'm just taking it out here if anything else gets sold off of it, it has to come off. It is what it is. I ain't complaining, but if just if you're wondering what is going on over there, why is the wheel off? But yeah. What up, guys? I am about to take out the transmission. Hopefully. I uh, got the transfer case out yesterday. And the starter and the training lines i gotta do the torque bolts which i'm gonna do right now i did not find that number on the block i don't think it's stamped where everybody says it's supposed to be it's not there like i could see everything all front clips off but yeah i'm gonna work on this right now hopefully i'll get that out today tomorrow is friday and so I should be able to post having the training out. Maybe see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully. We can have the motor out tomorrow. If not this weekend by the latest. That would be awesome. Get this baby scrubbed up and making it, make it look good. Um, another thing. I realized about this training. I don't know. If, I'm hoping it's not a big deal. But 
this whole thing right here on the back of the tranny, it wiggles back and forth. I tightened them up, every single bolt all the way around this was loose. And uh, I don't know, I don't know if that, I mean, it's definitely not good. I don't know if it's destroyed, hope not. Um, but that is definitely where it was leaking from. And hopefully that since we tightened up, tightened, tightened it up, that it's good now. I mean, it moved when I put training fluid in it. Didn't do anything crazy or make any crazy noises, but. Yep, and so like, if anyone knows like about these built like this is on the wrong side of where the square body Chevy is. So I need to get, I'm gonna get an adapter that will go on a transfer case. Or, yeah, it'll go right here. It'll be an adapter to where my transfer case from the square body will go on here. And so swing over. Well, the drive shaft will swing over and go to that side because that's where it's going to need to be. And advanced adapters is where you get that. Look at that thing, man. It's so sexy. Hmm. So, I just realized something. So, I make this tool, for people that don't know, that spins the flywheel on a normal vehicle. You just hook it in there and it spins it. So you go up there and take your bolts out of your torque converter. But the flywheel is so far in, to, like in here, that I can't get this on here. And the front has four bolts on it. I don't know, maybe if I could just try spinning one of them in the front on a harmonic balancer. But that's my issue right now. I don't know what what to do. Ask somebody, see what they do. But I'm try to figure it out, see what happens. Yeah, so like this right here, those four bolts, I don't know if I could just try to spin one of them, and maybe I could spin it all the way around. Cause like right here, that hole right there is where you're supposed to take the torque bolts out. But I don't really know much about these engines, but I'm trying to figure it out. Isn't that how you learn, right? All right, so it is Friday and I still do not have the transmission out because as you've seen, I could not get the uh, motor to spin. And I looked up on YouTube, did some research, research and uh, I found that there is a specialty tool for people that don't know, like I don't know, I just found it out. So that hole, so this one right here, there'll be like a little tool that goes in there right on the side of the flywheel and it spins the whole flywheel and then you take the torque bolts out of that hole. So I just got to find that tool um, called a couple parts stores. It's a specialty order. So I'm going to see if anybody I know has it. But so yeah, today's Friday. I will not have the tranny out of the Cummins. I know it's very an upset, but definitely should be out in the next video. I can't wait to get this thing all, all cleaned up. There's my little headlight. Gotta have that. Found that in the truck. Heck yeah. Can't wait.